We're going to make a spiral anti-clastic pendant. Uh, the piece I'm using is 13 millimeters wide by 150 mil long. First thing we're going to do is cut a bit of a taper on either end uh, just for aesthetics. You could just as easily round the end but I'm going to cut a taper and leave it straight I think. So I'm just using sharp shears and symmetrical would be nice. You can mark it out or you can just do quick and dirty like I am. Sand these. Uh, they're, not, they're not bad, but uh, sand it using your sanding stick and then anneal this. It'll have to be annealed to work it. So just do all of the edges because once we're finished it's going to be fairly impossible to go back and do the edges. It'll be a fairly complex piece. And trust your fingers. It'll tell you whether you've got all of the spots. Yep. Yeah. So now we're going to anneal this. We're just going to use our regular neutral flame same flame we use for everything. This one's making a bit more noise than yours will because it's the number seven tip. But you just heat your metal going from end to end. And because this is fine silver, it's only going to take a few seconds. Now quench this in water. Dry it. Always dry the metal before you work it. Otherwise the uh, steel stakes will rust. So nice and dry. And what you can do is you can after you've wiped it off with your towel, you can lay it back in this because it's warm and it, it will evaporate the rest of the water. This is just uh, volcanic rock. Pumice. It, and this is an annealing pan, which makes your life quite easy, but it's not necessary, but it is nice. So I have an anti-clastic steak. Uh, sinusoidal steak. Sinusoidal just means snake-like. And I'm going to use the smallest curve and a tapered plastic hammer. And I'm using plastic so I won't put marks in the metal. It'll just form it. So we're just going to Start to work on this and as this bends the metal this way, what you do is you move your hammer slightly to the side and it will form it into a curl as you're hammering it. So you can see what I've got going on. Now I'm going to continue working this until I have a nice tight spiral. And what we want this to do is we want it to curl up to the side so that it spirals out that way.
Yeah. So just keep working it. When it doesn't want to move anymore, uh, anneal it again. And we want a nice tight spiral so that we can wear it as a pendant. Now, as you can see, this is a, a nice spiral. I haven't had to anneal it yet uh, because it's fine silver. It stays fairly soft. But what you want to do now is you want to go back over it and make sure that all of your edges are smooth. So if you have a, a ripply effect, you want to go back on your sinusoidal stake and work it a little. And when you get that all done, you can actually manipulate it with your fingers to finish it off. And that is going to be my pendant. So this is the pendant. When you have it the way you want it, just chuck it in the tumbler and you're finished. Just one problem with this I've discovered. With the ends open, it will actually just unthread itself from your neck wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat round pliers and close this loop. So all we want is for that end to touch the metal on both ends so that it'll stay on the neck wire. Sorry. Yeah. So be fairly gentle and only grab it at the end but otherwise you'll undo your anti-clastic shape. So now we have our pendant that will stay on our neck wire or our chain. I like it.